Okay, so we just got the video that was being premiered by Valorant drop and we're all definitely clickbaited. Holy crap. I don't have a picture of this, but I'm sure you guys all saw it in the description and it said stay something and then stay sharp. Obviously, stay sharp was a direct reference to the new agent because they have spiky vines. Damn you right. It all ended up being just a cinematic trailer for Valorant's launch on console. But even though we didn't get teasers of the new agent, there are some really important lore that was shown in this trailer. The biggest one is literally the fact that Omega Earth has clashed with Alpha Earth. There are several agents from Omega Earth as shown in this moment who are here and now present on Alpha Earth and pose a threat. We have Alpha Deadlock, Sky, Jet, Cypher, and Fade who are going up against Omega Jet and Viper. We also later see Ko, Omen, Chamber, Phoenix, Yoru, and Iso as well in battle. For those of you who are confused, in the world of Valorant, there is an alternate dimension where there are mirror copies of the agents. One of the earlier moments when the Protocol learns about this mirror Earth is in the duality lore cinematic where Phoenix comes face to face with his mirror self. This way. Hey, take a look. It's stealing radionite from the environment. How do we stop it? I'm on it. You'll need a radicore to power the heat signal. I got this. Phoenix, wait! Hands up, come on! <laughs> you should see your face. didn't expect that to work. Really? So, uh, maybe give us a heads up next time? Sign secure. We're coming home. That the big man? Tell him I need answers this time. What is your problem? We crushed it! Phoenix gonna look in the mirror. How come they look like us? And what do they want our radiant out for? I'll talk to Brimstone. It's time we filled you in. Problems. <laughs> we? You're the one that screwed up. You serious? You had it easy, Jet. You know they're bringing whole teams now, right? And so will we. Although Phoenix is clearly shocked by this and had no idea, it looks like Viper and Brimstone did know in advance, and they just hadn't told the team yet. And a quick fact, Omega Killjoy from Valorant Legion is actually the inventor of the spike. And some of you may not know this, but the spike isn't actually a bomb that goes off. While it is destructive in some ways, the blast dome that you see upon detonation is actually the spike doing its real job, which is stealing radionite from within that area. Hey, take a look. It's stealing radionite from the environment. How do we stop it? I'm on it. This explains why Legion brings spikes into Alpha Earth and plants them. That's their method of obtaining Radiantite and taking it back. It's pretty cool that even the spike in the game has its own lore. And when you do play the game, in case it's not obvious to you, you're basically playing as Valorant Protocol versus Valorant Legion. Where if you're the ones planting the spike, you're playing as Legion. And if you're the ones defending, you're the Protocol. There was in fact a time when Alpha and Omega Earth worked together as a team. This was known as the Everett Lynn Project, which directly involves Chamber and Viper's lore as well. And the whole thing takes place on the map Fracture. The project was basically Kingdom Corporation and Kingdom Industries, which is Omega Earth's version of Kingdom, working together to help save Omega Earth from the apocalypse that it's facing. They built this thing called the Large Radiant Collider, 
which would have been really beneficial for both Alpha and Omega Earth. But on the day that it was supposed to be launched, the entire thing was destroyed which ended up killing the majority of the staff on site. And who else to be the cause of this but the Man Chamber himself. Their efforts were noble, but sacrifices must be made. Ah, such a pity. I won't go through his lore in this video as I'm just skimming through the Alpha and Omega Earth lore just so people can understand what exactly happened in this new video that dropped. We have Alpha Earth which contains the primary agents and we can call them the normal world. Then we have Omega Earth which is the mirror world and their world is basically in an apocalypse after the first light event. In that world the Valorant Protocol is called the Valorant Legion and they primarily try to come to Alpha Earth to steal their Radionite and take it back to Omega Earth in order to build life sustaining technologies. A great example of this is the massive dome on the map Pearl. Is this us? No, I think this is us. No, Joy. If you can hear me, get to Tango site. We're on our way. So, are we still the good guys? We know that these two different worlds are constantly fighting against each other and see each other as enemies. Except for Chamber, but that's a different story. And this trailer basically looks like a mini war has begun on Alpha Earth with this invasion of Valorant Legion. I believe that this is where Agent 26 is going to come into play. They'll probably be recruited by Valorant Protocol to help out with the team with fighting off Omega Earth who has appeared to infiltrate Alpha Earth from basically all over. We'll know a little more as we get more teasers, but this is where the lore stands right now and it's a pretty big deal. I'm going to make an updated Alpha vs Omega Earth lore video to cover this entire thing, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this lore update, and as always, thanks for watching.